the advanced multicam app has made our graphics and overlays extremely powerful. In case you haven't heard, you don't need a Vimeo subscription to run graphics in multicam. And as of August 2021, you don't need it for graphics in the 2.0 app either. Great job, Mevo peeps. The ability to add and remove graphics to your stream is exponentially easier in multicam. So let's dive into what it takes to build them. In order to make graphics or overlays available, you'll have to build them or have someone else build them for you. I'm going to do a shameless plug here. I build scoreboard overlays for the Patreon supporters on my channel. Anyone who subscribes at the winner level or above gets a new scoreboard every month. Subscribers at the champion level can get theirs customized by team name and mascot. The graphic overlays we will build today will be worship lyric overlays. It's been highlighted many times in the Mevo Guys weekly live stream that they put out that many houses of worship want to do lyric overlays. And when they pop their little graphic up, it's always a, a score sheet of, of just music. And I guess there's probably some copyright issue they're trying to avoid by not actually putting lyrics of a song on the screen. But we'll walk through that process together. Building graphics and overlays requires your favorite presentation or graphic software. They are easy to build in PowerPoint, in Keynote if you're on a Mac or an iPad user, Photoshop, GIMP, or even Paint. What you need is the ability to export as a PNG file with no background. I'll walk you through this process in Keynote as I'm most experienced in this app. Now, just so you know, I use Keynote for iPad OS in 95% of my graphics. Only on the rare occasion does it not have a feature I'm needing, which will force me over to Keynote on my iMac. When you open Keynote, you want to start with a new document. I'll go ahead and delete the text boxes, but that's just my preference. While there's nothing on the screen, tap the paintbrush here and choose background. Here's where you will choose to have it be transparent with the no fill option. Now we can add elements to the slide and they will be the only thing showing when using it in multicam. To start, let's build a background for worship song overlays. This is a simple way to let your remote viewers connect in your worship service. It takes a little bit of lead in time to get the lyrics typed in, but once you get in the flow of it, it's not bad at all. When I search images, I try to always use a public domain file so there are no issues with copyright. This graphic has a distinct top and bottom so it's going to be one I can use multiple times. To get three lines of lyrics you'll need to use the entire bottom half of the screen so we'll crop to there. If you can get by with two lines of lyrics per slide you can use less of the screen. With the image selected Tap on the paintbrush and choose Style. Slide the opacity down to your desired level of see through itness, and then you can export. This function is in the ellipsis at the top right. When you tap Export, then choose Images. You'll want to make sure you're exporting the correct slide. If there's only one, it will be the correct slide. Then tap PNG and make sure transparent backgrounds is toggled on at the bottom. Now tap the blue export and notice the dialog box. Save image sends it to your camera roll. Now you can go back into the multicam app and tap the blue plus to add a graphic. This will be a full screen overlay and background image at the bottom of the page is the one you want. Select the one you just made and tap done. You won't be adding text in this one, so tap Done again. Next, let's get the lyrics put in. Again, with the blue plus and graphics, full screen overlay. Now let's choose the text color to contrast with the background we made. Direction is bottom and alignment is center, or at least that's my preference. Be sure to pull the color opacity all the way out. Make this completely transparent. Now tap to add your text. If you run your lyrics all the way to the side, they will auto return to the next line. So you want to be careful there. Unfortunately, where to stop is trial and error. You'll get the hang of it. Now 
be sure to activate the background first, then the lyrics. One sits on top of the other. Now keep putting lyrics in until the song is all the way done. When in the string, tap on and off one lyric slide before tapping on the next one. There's a slight gap there, but if you tap the next one before removing the previous one, they'll both be on the screen for a moment, and that's disconcerting. In the next Crash Course, we'll tackle scoreboards. If this has been helpful, subscribe.